Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Gemini. Ooh, stability, abundance, excitement. You know, you, there could be an exciting new opportunity right in front of you. Mm. I think you guys are healing from something. It is. It's like you guys are letting go of sorrow. You're letting go of something. But you haven't quite let go because closure is needed. The closure hasn't actually happened yet. But with this Ten of Pentacles, it's like there is some sort of new security here. I mean, with the Page of Wands right next to it, this is exciting. There's an, it's some exciting new adventure, perhaps, that challenge you, that challenges you, that brings you some money, maybe, or stability, whatever this is. Mm. Yeah, you guys are letting go of something. You're making a conscious change. You're letting go of something. You're freeing yourself from something that was hurtful. May have been between a partner. There could have been an upset. There could have been an argument. And maybe, you know, you're heading away from that. You're moving away from that situation, whatever it is. Yeah, focusing on the future. Yeah, you're you're focusing on the future, not living in the past. That's what this looks like. But let me just get this zoomed in correctly. That's pretty good, huh? Okay, so it appears to me that there has been some sort of non-action, okay? This is the non-action right here. There was some kind of closure that's needed or is, you know, there's some kind of closure needed here. And it feels like there's been an in, inability to move forward. But it feels like you guys are moving forward. You're letting something go. You're releasing. You're making a conscious change to remove something from your life hurtful. You're starting to mend. You're starting to heal and focus on the future. You're realizing the potential. Okay, You're really realizing the potential for the future. And I think you're really excited about what's to come. That's what it looks like to me. I see a lot of excitement here. You're up for the challenge. I'm up for this challenge. I'm ready. I'm ready to come at this, whatever it is, full force. It's like you're ready to give to a situation, okay? You're ready to let something go. And I think, you know, there could have been some sort of um, breakup or contract or union that is being letting go okay maybe you're letting it go finally you know you're realizing that it didn't bring wish fulfillment so you're making this conscious change to bring security and stability back to your life you're taking action i'm not going to sit back and i think you had been sitting back you probably had been sitting back thinking about it not taking action but it looks like now you're full full throttle moving ahead full throttle you know you're accepting this change you're accepting this loss perhaps and just taking the bull by the horns and and running you know that's what it looks like to me i'm going to focus on the future i'm not going to focus on the past i'm going to let myself grow to this bring that i'm going to let this bring me growth it feels as though you were probably 
feeling very insecure with this decision for a little while and you were holding on to the past, but I think now you're releasing it. You're letting something go and accepting this challenge, okay? Whatever it is. Um, yeah. Woo! But closure is still needed with these two cards. It's like you're still depressed over something. What is it, Gemini? You're still losing sleep over something. Could be something to do with a child, okay? I feel like you are working on making a conscious change, but you're unable to completely close this door, okay? You have this fear of change, and that is what this means, okay? You have this fear of change, but you're accepting the change. That's what it looks like. You know, it's fun, kind of weird because this is fear of change and this is having no fear. So maybe this is in the past. Maybe that's why you hadn't moved on because you were fearful of this change. But I feel like now you're accepting the challenge. That's what it looks like to me. It's like, no, I'm not afraid of change. No, no, I'm not. You know, I'm ready to make this decision. I am ready to end this bull. I'm ready to end this conflict and move forward. I'm ready. I really am. You know, so I feel as though... You know, you have been holding on to something for way too long and you've come to the conclusion that you're not, you, this causes me too much depression. It does. Look at the nines. Nine, nine, nine. Nines are closing doors, okay? So I feel like you are closing a door. You are closing a door because it wasn't making you happy. You know, and it could have been, whatever this was may have made you feel um, empty, Okay, whatever this was, you may have felt some sort of emptiness inside. And so you're like, no, I have to take action here. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm going to take action in this matter. I'm moving forward. I'm going to master my emotions and bring success to my life. I think that you guys are finding that willpower to make this change that you've been afraid of making. Yes, you are. You found the power. It's like, I have the power. I do. I have the power. The power is in your hands, Gemini, and you're using it. I think you're cutting through the bullshit. You're cutting through the the depression and the anxiety, and I think you're moving ahead. You're you're charging forward. That's what I see. After after a period of stalling, okay. I think that you may have lacked some energy. You may have lacked some passion to move forward, but now you've come to this realization in April that you have the power. I have the strength to do this, and I'm excited. I feel like you guys are excited. I think she's some crow. You do have the power. You know that you have the power. You're highly aware. And I feel like you guys are shedding some old ways, some old habits, maybe even some old people from your life to bring success. It's like I will have success and I am going to get it. There's a lot of victory and success here. Okay, there is. Because it feels as though wherever you were at you there was unhappy you weren't you weren't receiving anything there so why stay stuck right yeah it's like you've been you've been trying to avoid disaster by not taking action but i feel like you know now you're 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 you've persevered you've learned what you've needed to learn you've fought really hard and i think you've won i think that you have won i really do i feel like you guys have been procrastinating and waiting for the right time to use your sword and I think now is the right time now you are accepting this power within you and you are using it I think you are using your own power to manifest change to be the change to accept the change and move forward I see you guys heading in the right direction very very quickly very fast um, Anybody that gets in your way will probably uh, get hurt. You know, I feel like that you guys are healing. You've been through a period of healing. And I feel like there's been some extremes, like there would be with Gemini, right? There would be. I mean, that's what it is, the duality. It's been back and forth. I think that you guys have had these ups and downs that have been holding you back. And I feel like now this is a period of being up. I really do. I feel, I feel like the downs were behind you and that you guys have really persevered. You're, you have come a long, long way. And I don't think anybody can hold you back this month. I really don't. 
I feel like you guys are headed headed in the right direction very very quickly yep it's like I'm, you guys are working together it's like I'm looking for togetherness I'm lurk, looking you may be even making some compromises okay to bring success to your life and you've been through a period of no manifestation no gifts no rewards but you're taking action to bring rewards that's what's happening you guys are taking action to bring the success to your life because if you don't it's not going to happen there's been a period of loss okay a period maybe you've lost some money you know maybe um something has cost you okay it's cost you some money and i feel like this is a month of you receiving it back whatever it is you receiving some stability and security that has been lost Now, we have all the players here, so I don't really want to say the, the, the signs, but all the players are here. There's There's been some sort of lack of communication, okay, from somebody, okay, that has opened your eyes, okay? There's some kind of lack of communication, a lack of love, a lack of stability, a lack of security that has held you back and that's where the extremes come in i think you have been through a down period and now you're this down period is over because you're taking the lead you're you're mastering your emotions and you're relighting your fire where i feel as though somebody may have really put you down and you may have been dealing with somebody who was conceited self-centered um lazy and you know you're it probably brought you down Okay, I feel like there's somebody that may have even taken from you. They may have taken your money. You know, somebody has used you. That's what I see. And you had invested quite a bit. But I feel as though now um, you realize that this is unrealistic. It's unrealistic for me to let this, let this take over. I, you know, I'm still the leader. I'm still the boss. And I feel like you guys are taking that leadership role. Because there's been a lack of growth wherever you are at. It's like there was a lack of excitement wherever you were stuck at. So I feel like you were stuck in a period where nothing was happening and nothing was changing. And, and so you had to do this. You had to use your power to manifest change or to make change happen. Yeah, there's been an end of a contract here. There's been an end of a contract. There's been some sort of breakup between you and another person that probably left you feeling very down. Maybe you were feeling very used. I do feel like you may have been used by somebody. And now you have come to this realization that there's more. Um, yes, I feel like you guys have found this new, new love, okay? You found this new love. Perhaps it's even for yourself, okay? Because you've been stalled. You have been stalled, but you're getting these new opportunities, a new opportunity to use your power to find new love. Okay, that's what's going on here. And to manifest. One, 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 one. You have all these ones. It's like you have the power to manifest anything you want this month, and I think that's what you're doing. I mean, you have a massive power this month, Gemini. Okay, I want to see what this Six of Cups and Three of Cups You guys have been resisting letting go of somebody from your past, perhaps? Because we have the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Maybe you were resisting because of children. Maybe you were resisting letting go or resisting this change because it has to do with children. I think I said children earlier. You know, there could have been a third-party situation. When I say third-party situations, it doesn't always mean between two lovers. It could be between family members. You know, third-party situation is three people, okay? I think there was some kind of um, unhappiness, bickerment between three people. And somebody had to make some sort of decision of what way to go, how to handle this situation. And I feel like you've been making a decision based on perhaps children. Children definitely play a part here. You know, but I feel like you've regained your focus. And you have you've like relit you've refound your the passion within to move forward. Now, who is this person from the? Are you dealing with a a fire sign? Because we have it here: Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
but it feels as though you have these new visions in which you are no longer going to stay in a spot that in limbo. I'm not going to stay in limbo. I'm ready to celebrate. I'm ready to go out and have some fun. It feels like you guys are very passionate. This is a passionate month for you. And that you guys are, are really putting yourself out there. And you're probably vibrating very, very highly at this time. Because I feel as though, you know, you probably had lost some hope at some time. It feels like you may have been discouraged. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Like I said, there's extremes. I think we this is absolutely extremes. Where you have bet, felt discouraged. You've lost some hope. You've lost some faith. And I feel like it's being restored. I do. I feel like you have given up on a situation that didn't serve you. I'm just not going to put any more energy into that anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm going to focus on the future. I'm going to be real realistic. Where I think you were dealing with somebody who was unrealistic. And they were... I think they were greedy. I think you were dealing with somebody who was using you. And it made you very unhappy. And I think that you're looking for happiness and you're going to find it. I think you're going to find it. I think that you guys have been confused and that the confusion is dissipating. You know, I do. I feel that's the way it is. I think you're you're making a choice to let go of this confusion, to let go of this partnership that wasn't stable that wasn't secure you know whatever it was you're letting it go and you're I think you're choosing a new direction are you maybe you're choosing to go towards a Pisces Cancer Scorpio we have love Pisces Cancer Scorpio because wherever you were at wherever you were trapped it, there was lies and now you're removing that obstacle you are removing somebody from your life that was an obstacle so that you can love fully. I think you're letting... Uh, uh, new love happen. Because this is new love. Yes, you're releasing the tension. You're letting it go. You're bringing happiness back to you. You are taking action. That is what is happening here. Yes, you're letting go of an old commitment and taking the stable approach. It looks like you guys, you may find new love this month that leads to a stable, secure commitment because you've you let go of something that was unrealistic. That's what it looks like to me. You're no longer going to play tug of war with the past. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are bringing stability, security back to your life. You may find a new love commitment. could be with... Uh, any sign because we well I don't really see the air signs yeah I do we have all the signs here it could be with any sign but I'm thinking that your new commitment could be with a water sign or an earth sign and it looks like it could be very stable and secure and I and with the six of cups you may know this person from your past you may maybe this person is somebody you went to school with when you were a child or maybe this is you letting go of past uh, people because it could mean both things. I feel like you are giving up on something that didn't serve you and because you have taken the action and you have used your power to manifest this new love, it's coming. It is coming. There's a new love coming into your life because of your ability to take action and make changes and accept challenges. That's what I see. You're letting go of this insecure person who used you. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You guys are healing. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This tells me that this person that's coming into your life or is in your life now, is not your usual type. But I think it leads to a strong commitment. Ooh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This is the person you've waited for. Okay? Ooh, and I knew it. I did. I did. This is definitely an issue. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You guys figure this one out. You know it. Many of you, this is truly the case.
we're going to get you one advice card. I feel as though, you know, you guys are headed towards stability and security with somebody new. And this person is not your usual type. And it's because of the action that you have taken to manifest change. It's wonderful. It really is. This is probably the best reading I've done so far for this month of April. Trust. I'm going to zoom that in for you. While your logical mind is dictating a supposed, supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. This is just an affirmation for you to trust the new. Trust the new. Don't stay stuck in the past which I don't think you're going to. This is saying trust, trust that you are making the right decisions. You are, you really are, okay? So I feel like this is a month where you could have, you know, if you are already with this person, there could be um, where you take the relationship to the next level, okay? If you're single, you could meet this person. Or if you just started dating, you know, there could be, now it turns into a commitment. You know, there's definitely a feeling of new love here or or renewed love or a stronger love, okay? Because of your ability to manifest the changes that you desire in me. And that's what I have, Gemini. Talk to you later. <laughs>